there is a group of distinct birds known as forest racids. Forest racids belong to a clade of flightless birds known as forest racidae. So far, there have been as many as 25 identified subspecies under the family forest racidae. All the birds within this clade are colloquially referred to as terror birds, and for good reason. If you are wondering why these group of birds are referred to as terror birds, a brief description of their physical appearance might suffice for now. Terror birds generally have proportionately large heads, powerful, curved, pointy beaks, extremely molded wings armed with shark hook-tipped claws, long necks and matching long legs, and also armed with sharp talons. The last thing you certainly would want to be pursued by is one of these birds. But there's no need to panic. They are extinct already. First discovered in 1887 by the Argentinian paleontologist Florentino Amagino in the stratum of the Santa Cruz Formation, Argentina, where he first discovered only a piece of the bird's jawbone. Upon discovery of the other parts of the animal, he assumed that the fossil must be that of a megafauna toothless animal. Hence, he gave it the scientific name Forus Roccos longimissimus, which he eventually corrected to the more grammatically correct Forus Roccos. However, the first name given to newly discovered species is always the name given scientific priority. Despite Florentino's initial mistake in classification, it was later reclassified as a bird four years later in 1891. Given the enormous size and weight of these birds, it is understandable why the Argentinian paleontologist wrongly assumed that this must have been a mammal. A terror bird, depending on its subspecies, could grow to a height within the range of 3.5 to 10 feet about 1 to 3 meters tall and could have weighed as much as 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms. According to scientific estimate, the skull of one of these terror birds unearthed in Argentina 2006 measured 2.4 feet 70 centimeters in length, while the beak measured 1.6 feet 45 centimeters. Since the birds are generally regarded as descendants of dinosaurs, it is not surprising that these terror birds could grow to such heights and weigh so much. At least the African ostrich is a living specimen that provides useful insight into just how gigantic prehistoric birds could have been. Terror birds, though extinct, lived predominantly in South America where they ruled for tens of millions of years. In particular, they dominated the plains of Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Brazil, and especially the present-day Patagonia region, as is evident in the fact that they lived for several million years in the Cenozoic era. Specifically, they lived in the plains of South America 62 million years ago, and their existence continued till about 1.8 million years ago. Their preferred habitat was grasslands and woodlands. Though native to South America, they were not confined to South America alone. This is because a species migrated to North America upon the formation of the Isthmus of Panama land bridge, which helped connect North and South America during the Pliocene era. This land bridge, which was a product of the Pacific tectonic plate being forced to slide underneath the Caribbean plate, creating the perfect avenue for what is known as the Great American Biotic Interchange, GABI. This interchange refers to the migration of animals from South America to North America and vice versa. Terror birds were one of such animals to have migrated from South America to North America. Hence, in North America, especially areas such as Florida and Texas, there lived one large-sized species of terror birds known as Titanese wallerii. This specific species had to evolve a proportionately larger body size in order to be able to compete favorably with other North American predators, such as saber-toothed cats and wolves. We will therefore include North America in the geographic range in which terror birds lived. What exactly did these birds eat? 
All identified subspecies of forest racids are believed to have been carnivorous based on research conducted on fossils that have continually been unearthed for the last 134 years. This is because of the distinctively curved beak of all terror birds. The beak of terror birds is similar in its curved, pointy structure with that of modern-day flesh-ripping carnivorous birds such as falcon, vulture, eagle, etc. But unlike these contemporary flesh-eating birds, the beak of terror bird was immensely larger and stronger in its adept job of tearing flesh. Scientists have hypothesized that terror birds hunt and dispatch their prey via two likely methods. The first would have been by ambush, especially by heavier, slow-moving terror bird species. The second method, which would have been adopted by smaller terror bird species, would have been by chasing prey down over open grassland. The relatively smaller and some larger species would have been incredibly fast. Given their agile frame and long legs, they would have been capable of reaching speeds up to 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles per hour. When they catch prey, they would have dispatched their prey by grabbing it using their big beak and bashing it against a hard surface, just like how their closest living relative, Syria Moss, do it. Alternately, given the advantage of their tall height, strong necks, and hook-tipped beak, they could have simply dispatched their prey through a singular or repeated powerful pecking motion. A CT scan of their beak shows that an upward and downward movement would have contained so much force that it would have been deadly. Hence, a downward striking blow from this hook-like beak to the skull, neck, or spinal cord of any prey would have been fatal. When the prey has been subdued under their sharp talons, they can dig in with their curved beak and rip out mouth-sized chunks of flesh. It is therefore the combination of their immense size, incredible speeds, skull-cracking, neck-breaking, and fatal flesh-ripping beak that give them the duly deserved nickname Terror Birds. Given all of this evolutionary armament, Terror Birds reigned supreme in their South American habitat with no natural predator, not even humans, to neither compete with nor hunt them. Their ascension to and occupation of the top of the food chain was why they survived for tens of millions of years. However, they became extinct roughly about 1.8 million years ago. The definite cause of this extinction is still a scientific debate, till date as some scientists advocate that it must have been caused by climate change. Some also opine that the increased competition for food brought on by other predators such as the saber-toothed cats, bears, and carnivorous dogs which migrated to South America during the Great Interchange must have been responsible for the gradual decline and eventual extinction of these terrific prehistoric birds. While the cause of the extinction may not be definite, one thing that is certain based on available fossils and evidence is that modern humans were not yet around before the extinction of these animals. Hence, while terror birds could have easily caused the death of a modern human being, thankfully, our ancestors were yet to come on board. Fossils of terror birds remain one of the greatest prides of any museum opportune to have one or more in display. This is because these incredible birds continue to tantalize our imagination of just how they must have terrorized the earth when they were alive. Also, we certainly will like to know more about them given the fact that much remains unknown about them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell icon notification.